I'm very happy to introduce you uh, here uh, our guest Susan Polgar, former world champion and the chair, chairwoman of the commission, a women's commission, FIDEC commission, and uh, former world champion Maria Muzuchuk. Um, just uh, we are here because uh, she was awarded with a cup of Kaisa. Um, so maybe Susan, you can start and tell us about uh, this award and uh, who actually can get it and for which kind of achievements. Yes, uh, welcome everyone for our press conference and I'm really pleased to have with me another former world champion uh, who has just been awarded the Kaisa Award, which stands for the player, woman, female player of the year. Uh, we started this years ago, uh, thanks to the sponsorship of uh, Laborta's classic jewelry house from the Ukraine. And it's how fitting that now a Ukrainian player receives this beautiful, one of a kind piece of art. And uh, it's basically being voted among all the members of the Women's Commission of FIDE by the, the, the chairpersons and the commission uh, members suggest a few names and then there is a one vote per member voting and uh, deservingly so Maria Muzicuk has won for last year being a women's world champion and uh, she just received this beautiful trophy so I wanted to ask you uh, how do you feel about uh, getting this prestigious award uh, of course, it's a big honor for me to be awarded of this beautiful cup. Uh, actually, this uh, 2015 year was very difficult for me, and I'm very glad that my results were appreciated so high. There were a few good results in 2015. Maybe you can sure. say a, f a few words about it. Uh, first, it was Sochi. Then it was a great result uh, for Ukrainian team when you played in Iceland. Team. Yeah. So I mean, I think there were for few achievements all together. And uh, so what can you say about it? Are, are you, you said it was a difficult year, but at the same time it was a successful year for you. Yeah, sure, it was a very successful year for me. And, but actually this uh, World Championship in Sochi was the most difficult for me. So as I have said, I lost six kilos after this tournament. So now, now I'm glad that uh, I, uh, I got uh, some kilos back. Yes, and also an award, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which, yeah, which sure. is quite heavy. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. you just won your game tonight. Uh, how are you doing so far in this Olympiad? Yeah, today I won. Uh, we played against uh, Azerbaijan. Um, this team is quite solid. <laughs> Everyone knows it. Uh, um, well, like, uh, about my game, so um, I can't be satisfied with what was going in the opening. But uh, then in the middle game, I... Um, I think I calculated better, and so after each three, I liked my position, and uh, finally I managed to win it. You come from a family of uh, chess players. You have a sister <laughs> sure. who is uh, almost as successful as you are. In reading, you are usually very, very close. Uh, how is it growing up and living with a sister who is uh, such a close rival at the same time? It's very good because we can help each other and okay, not only my sister can play chess, uh, also my parents are the merited coaches in Ukraine and uh, also grandmother, grandfather, so I can say that uh, almost all my relatives can play chess. Now here is the key question, when you will have your child or children, will they play chess? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think about it, but um, okay. No, I can't say. But I would like my child to know how to play chess, but probably not to be the professionals. Yeah, now you mentioned also Anna, but I think it's the first time she's playing for Ukrainian team in the Olympiad, all right? And how does it feel to play together in the same team and to fight for the medals? And what are the goals of Ukrainian team here in the Olympiad? Okay, actually, he plays some tournaments uh, in team competition with my sister. So, okay, uh, it's much much more better to play with Anna than alone. Uh, so our goals, of course, um, our goal is to be the prize winner, I think, all the time. But um, of course, we would like to struggle for the first place as well. Yeah. My sisters and I uh, always used to be very close and it was <laughs> great to travel together and play together. It sounds like you and Anna are uh, the same way. Is that right? Yes, of course. It's we are good friends so. as well, not just colleagues. Yes, a part sisters. of chess, we, um, we have very good relations. 
That's um, wonderful. The fact that this uh, cup actually was made by a, a classical jewelry house, Labartas, which is actually based in Ukraine. I mean, yes. what do you think about this? And uh, are you happy to actually that it traveled to Ukraine and now will go back to Ukraine? <laughs> <laughs> okay, of course, I know this Labartas uh, because um, after the World Championship in Sochi, I had a meeting um, there in Kiev, and so it was very nice. Uh, Mm, I hope I will manage to carry it to Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this time at least without any troubles, hopefully. Yes, um, but okay, it must be okay. Yeah, maybe. Mm. And of course, for the cameras, uh, her name is uh -huh. engraved already in the back, so it's really special, one of a kind, beautiful piece of art with it's some real gold treasure. and silver <laughs> and uh, diamonds. Yeah. So. Um, I, that's, uh, that was really nice awarding ceremony. We are very happy to have Maria uh, here. And uh, so, Susan, maybe you can say some last words about the commission meeting and uh, maybe um, what uh, other things have been done during this meeting. Yeah, the commission has been working hard for uh, past years, including this year, of course, with budget cuts. Our, our uh, opportunities were reduced this year of what we're doing, but we're still trying to help women's chess across the globe in all continents and uh, as well as not just players, but also giving opportunities for arbiters and coaches and organizers to have more women presence in all fields of chess. And uh, that's our primary goal. And we're hoping that as uh, the FIDA finances improve in the coming years, we can go back to some other projects that uh, we, we really like to help, especially young, talented girls as well around the world. Yeah, I know that Maria also is taking part in, in promoting chess in Lvov. So maybe you can also say something about this. Are you trying to also bring more girls uh, to the chess world? Yes, sure, of course, it's much more difficult to involve uh, uh, girls uh, in chess because usually people think that uh, this game is only for men, though I don't agree. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, you had I think many. all of us, we don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, we had many press conferences and uh, many meetings, so I hope that uh, with every year more people will play chess. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for your time and good luck thank for you. the last two rounds. Thank you. And enjoy your beautiful trophies. Thanks.